What is going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. My name is Anthony Pinto da Costa and you are watching The Canadian Physio Student. All right guys, so it is now Monday and I know I've already done a Monday vlog, but I've also done every other day of the week. So in order to get the sixth week of the semester in, I have to come back to the beginning of the week. Anyways, you guys know from my last vlog, me and my group, Alex, Reed, and Mr. Kieran Hogue, we're all working on our geriatrics assignment where we had to create a presentation about long-term care facilities in Ontario. Today is our presentation day, so I already got the okay for my prof to film that, so you guys will see that in a couple clips from now. Another thing to note is we are not the only ones presenting today. Everybody in our class is presenting, so we actually have four straight hours of student presentations today. This is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. So it's definitely going to be a long day, but we're going to get through it. So I'm just going to go eat some breakfast now and I'm going to head out to class with Reed. We have pediatrics first and as you guys know, I can't film in that lecture. So the next time you will see me is when we are giving our presentation. I'll see you guys in a bit. Now, as previously mentioned, there's a broad range of services. So we have traditional medical services, which are just access to healthcare professionals being close to hospitals. And then we have social services, so there's social and recreational programs within the long-term care facilities. And then it's basically just a document that has um, laws, rules, and regulations that ensure that long-term care homes provide their residents with safe, consistent, high-quality, and of course, residents that are The responsibility requirements for living in long-term care facilities. So these include being, being um, 18 or older, having a valid COVID card, um, having needs such as 24-hour nursing, personal care, assistance with the ADLs, and supervision to ensure the safety of the individual. All right, so now you're all thinking, what are the costs of long term care in Ontario? <laughs> so, the exact cost of the basic room, which is 1848 dollars for the that Mr. Smith is going into a basic room, which we know has a monthly cost of, what Alex said, $1,848. <laughs> All right, people, so just got home from class. Very long day today. As I mentioned, four hours of presentations, and it didn't end after that. I actually had a one hour meeting with my group for our presentation that we have to do tomorrow because we got another presentation tomorrow, and that is for our pediatrics class. I told you guys about this presentation in my last video, but just to refresh you guys, uh, we're given a case on a young boy who has cerebral palsy. And basically what we have to do is we have to create educational materials for his parents to educate them on his condition and what his prognosis is like. And then after that, we have to end it off with a personalized home exercise program for him that addresses his personal goals and helps him maintain his physical function over time. Anyways, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat right now because I haven't eaten in hours. And then I'm going to practice for my presentation. I'm opening it up tomorrow. I got about a three to five minute part. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you guys a workout. I'll probably do a full body one today. It's gonna to be another quick one because I'm kind of pressed for time right now. As you can see out here, it's already dark out, so. Definitely don't have much time left tonight. So I'll go do that and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so that is enough practicing for tonight. Also, I'm just thinking back about what happened today during that presentation when TA asked us the question and we legitimately had zero clue what to answer to that question. You know, it was a very uncomfortable 30 seconds for the boys up there, but you know what? We killed the presentation, so I'm happy about that and we can move on from there. 
Anyways, it's time to get that workout in. Today I'm gonna do a full body workout because I've done lower body for you guys. I've done upper body a few times. So now I just wanna show you guys what it looks like when I mesh them together into one workout. So here it is. Okay, so that is it for the full body workout. I'm gonna shower, get a nice snack in, and then I'll leave you guys with some final words. All right guys, so I'm all showered and ready to go to bed now. I'd just like to conclude this video by saying that this is my last day in the life of physiotherapy student in Canada for my first semester of second year physiotherapy school. The end of this video marks a transition from the day in the lives to now the tip videos that will help current and future physiotherapy students. So please stay tuned guys because I got a lot of good content coming at you that I've planned over the summer and now I'm finally going to be releasing these videos for you in the next couple weeks. Some of these videos include interviews with my professors, some local clinicians, and then also some clinicians who are very prominent on social media such as Instagram and Facebook. And then of course, I'm gonna give you guys my own account and my tips on how to be successful when you're in physio school and some of my tips on how to get into physio school. So we'll be covering topics like GPA, personal statements, how to do well and how to prepare for your OSCE, and many, many other things that have to do with physiotherapy school. So guys, if you like this video and all the other day in the life of a physiotherapy student in Canada videos, make sure that you like, share, of course, smash that subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, whether they be positive or negative, doesn't matter to me, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm open to all of it. So I'll see you guys next week when I upload my first tip video. Another day, another dollar to be made I'm a workaholic, ballin' hard until the grave Used to wanna be a baller for the NBA Till the fellas round me started dunking in the 7th grade